Do you love reading, writing, or speaking in public? Are you interested in politics, culture, or arts? Do you want to experience fun and colorful activities? If yes, humanities and social sciences fits for you! Olivares College Tagaytay is consistently making a difference in the lives of many dreamers. Reflecting the core values of the school, honesty, excellence, accountability, responsible inquiry, and teamwork. Learners, welcome to Yums TV for contemporary Philippine arts from the region. I am Ms. Rosa Narinduque, your teacher for this episode. In the last episode, we learned about the definition of the word art. The word art originated from the Latin word ars, which means skill, and with the Greek word tech, which means technology. A standard illustration of art is that it is used to express ideas or feelings through creative processes and imagination. Most Essential Learning Competencies, Week 2 Describe Various Contemporary Art Forms Our objectives are first, is to identify the various contemporary art forms. Second, is to differentiate the various contemporary art forms using the three-circle Venn diagram. And third, is to present various contemporary art forms using the TikTok application. Have you ever been to an art exhibit? Or have you visited any museum here in the Philippines? If not yet, let's have a virtual tour about the Art Fair Philippines 2020. Art Fair Philippines was founded in 2013. It has grown into a cultural event which attracts at least 30,000 visitors each year. Through the years, it has made contemporary Philippine visual art more accessible and affordable. This year, Art Fair Philippines gathered at least 61 local and foreign galleries. It also opened three new sections, the open studios, film, and incubators. Aside from the exhibits, visitors can participate in different talks and workshops. There are various art forms that we observe in the art fair exhibit. We have visual arts, literary arts, and performing arts. Let's learn more about it. The first contemporary art form is visual art. It is used to describe a wide array of artistic disciplines that are appreciated primarily through sight. Visual arts are an expression of artistic ideas through images, structures, and tactile work. Fernando Amorzola's painting of the making of Philippine flag is an example of visual arts. Fernando Amorzolo made this painting to show the citizens of the Philippines how the Philippine flag was made, and to remind them of the traditions and customs that we did not realize had faded. Wang on Ogai statues are also considered visual arts, the Philippines' oldest mambabato or traditional Kalinga tattooist. Roughly 11 years old, Wang Od has been performing the Asian art of hand-tap tattoos since she was 15, 
one of follows a millennia old technique. Using just a few tools like a thorn from a pomelo tree, a foot-long bamboo stick, cool scrap of a pot, and water. Tagaytay City Memorial Monument Sculpture Statue War. The statue of Ninoy Aquino at Tagaytay Rotonda stands a top marker commemorating several historical events. The Philippine Arena. The world's largest indoor arena. It is a multi-purpose indoor arena with maximum seating capacity of 55,000 at Ciudad de Victoria. Now, let's proceed to the next contemporary art form, the literary arts. It is an expression of ideas through writing. Many types of literary artworks can be categorized into poetry, prose, and drama. Here are some examples of literary arts. First is the famous El Filibusterismo of our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Rizal wrote El Filibusterismo in dedication to the three martyred priests, Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora, expressing the conviction that their treatment and deaths at the hands of the Spanish authorities were unjust. Bab on Quotes is also an excellent example of literary arts. One of his famous quotes is, Sa paglipas ng panahon, maging ang mga crush ng bayan ay nagmumukha ding pandesal. Maniwala ka. Some of Miriam Defensor Santiago's books include Stupid is Forever, Constitutional Law, and Politics and Governance, which are also considered as literary arts. Lastly is the performing arts, which expresses an artistic idea through written lyrics, text, dramatization, and multimedia production. Did you know that Ang Huling El Bimbo is an example of performing arts? Ang Huling El Bimbo follows the story of four friends, Eman, Anthony, Hector, and Joy. Set in two generations, the adventure of this barcada it's a journey that teaches its audience how each decision we make can lead to different paths and consequences that we have to face and take responsibility for. To sum up our topic for this episode, we learned that art is created with imagination and skills that expresses important ideas or feelings. It has its own language and it is understood by those who love and feel the art. For your learning tasks, differentiate the various contemporary art forms using the three-circle Venn diagram. Learners, are you ready for your performance task? Here's the challenge. You're going to make a one-minute video using the TikTok application about the form of art you made based on the three-circle Venn diagram. You will be graded based on the following rubrics. Now, I am presenting the connection of different contemporary art forms using three-circle Venn diagram. Visual arts are art forms that create works that are primarily visual in nature. Performing arts are arts such as music, dance, and drama, which are performed for an audience. Literary arts is an expression of ideas through writing. Visual arts is connected to performing arts by means of important materials that is needed in creating performing arts, such as the design of the stage and artist costume. Script is an example of literary arts, which are needed in all samples of performing arts. The message of every writing is an example of literary arts, and the design or the stroke, how it is written, is an example of visual art. When visual arts, performing arts, and literary arts were combined, it can produce a complete and creative kind of arts.
tok 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 tik tok tik tik tok 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 tik tok 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 Good job students for our next episode you are going to learn about the elements of art Thank you for joining in our episode this week Again I am teacher Roseanne reminding you to treat a work of art like a prince let it speak to you first See you again next time. Happy learning!